you guys. Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are at Summer Nam 2019, getting busted by the passerby. This is going all around the world right now. <laughs> this lady just used her decibel meter on her camera to bust us. We're at third power with Delana. Delana, how's it going? It's going great. What I mean, it's perfect. We have an amp called the Dirty Sink came out today, and we just got in trouble with it. <laughs> that wasn't even, at first I thought it was the official sound, please, but it was just some lady in pink with her yeah, smartphone. Decibel meter. It's great. All right, so that sounded awesome. You. you have the you have a few new amps, but we're focusing on the dirty the dirty sink today. Yeah. So here at the show last year, we actually launched an amp called the Kitchen Sink uh, with Premier Guitar, yeah. uh, and it came out. the The world found out about it from you guys, and we were sold out for a year because of that amplifier and I think the cool video we did. So we finally caught up. We're out of back order on that one, and we went ahead and split that amp into two. So we made a dirty sink that it is the dirty channel, the kitchen sink in a grab-and-go combo that, we, that we're going to see. The picture's probably rolling right now. And then the clean sink, and that's the clean channel. And we are doing a first look on that because that's Vox and Fender, and you can blend the two and layer it together. So yeah, That'll be coming out on our channel soon, so or might be there by the time you see this. I don't know. So another thing that separates the two amps, the dirty sink gets the effects loop, and we put the patch points on the top panel. It's grab-and-go, it's the dirty sink, and you can go ahead and just patch in your effects right there on the top panel. The clean sink will get the reverb. So for those who don't recall the specifics of the kitchen sink, sure. like run down the power section and all that. Gotcha. Okay, the power section on the kitchen sink was E34Ls. And all our amps, by the way, are, they're hand-wired, point-to-point, turret board construction. They're made like a mid-60s hot rod guitar amplifier. And so we This is still EL34. No, the, these are 6V6Ss on these. Now that tube is a JJ tube. They're capable of 14 watts per tube, so theoretic 28 watts. But we're calling it approximately 22. But this thing is absolutely screamer, and it's definitely kicking out 25 watts. Yeah, that's a lot more aggressive than most people would probably associate with 6V6s. Yeah. But what makes that work, because you can't always, I mean, even some gigs, you can't run 25 watts. Enter our Hybrid Master. This is a patented technology that we developed about eight years ago, and it allows you to dial in the tone of the amp separate from how loud it is. So get your tone, set up your effects or whatever, and then if you need to scale back the volume to whatever fits the room, Hybrid Master lets you do that. Now, when a lot of us hear or see hybrid, like I did on the panel before, yeah. we start thinking probably things that are probably not the case with this. Like when we think of hybrid associated with an amp, we're like, oh, maybe it has a solid state preamp and and uh, to power section or vice versa. Gotcha. But that's not what's going on here, right? No, and, and one of the main questions, and I'm glad you brought this up because it, it definitely shines a light on our technology. There's master volumes. Master volumes have been around forever, but they're good for about 15% of the work. Then there was the London power, power scaling. That was something that you could license and put on your own amplifier. And power scaling allowed you to change the voltage that went to the amplifier. Hybrid Master does three things. It does current limiting, it does voltage regulation, and it's a master volume. So hence hybrid because it's doing three things at one time. And it does it in an algorithm where, where as a player, I felt all these other technologies were effective to a point. If you needed to shave off 10%, this works. Mm -hmm. If you need to shave off 30%, well, I don't. there wasn't anything that really dug in. So I did, this isn't borrowing from all those others. It's, that's why we got a patent on it. But it, it's doing a little bit here and a little bit here and a little bit here. And as you spin the knob, the player just needs to grab the knob and pull it down, wherever the sound guy or the rest of the band, wherever they fit in. They don't want to change their tone. And I worked a long time to figure out Hybrid Master, and that's what it does. It just decouples the tone and the volume, which is great. So it's a digital technology? No, or no, uh -uh, it's all I just got thrown up by the word algorithm. Um, well, so for those of us... Because it, it's doing... There's this much work that happens, then there's this much work and this much work, and it all... You're just talking mathematically, not... Yes, exactly. It's an analog algorithm. Yeah. Now, all right, Delana, so the whole hybrid master thing sounds a little complicated. I'm sure I'm not the only one where when you start hearing algorithm and voltage and all that, you're like, I recognize those words, but I don't really get what it's doing. So maybe just demo how it sounds Absolutely. when you at different levels. Is that yeah. cool? Yeah, that's a great idea. So here we are. We're running the amp at about 12 watts. 
And that was with the knob at like noon, because yeah. they probably can't see it. Noon, yeah. So we're at about nine o'clock. Now the amp's at about one watt. Do you have any level there? But it still right. sounds just like a quiet, yeah. like you just turned a track on your stereo down that's already that's been right. recorded at full that's, volume. That's what Hybrid Master was supposed to do. Don't change the mix of the record, just turn it up or down. That's okay. it, yeah. Cool, all right, so you wanna run through the rest of the control panel for us? Absolutely. So the first knob is gain. The second knob is volume, then we have a, a Marshall style tone stack, treble, middle, bass. In the top little knob we have presence, in the knob uh, down there in white we have hybrid master. And then we have the effects loop. This is a class A 300 volt all tube effects loop. This is the same loop from our previous citizen gain amplifier, we used to call this the citizen loop. Because it takes anything you've got, your pedals, your racks, everything. We try to make it easy, like Hybrid Master is just my tone at whatever volume. So the Citizen Loop is whatever effects I want patched in, I don't have to match anything, it just all works. So nice. that's all right there. Yeah. What kind of speaker do you have in this? We have a WGS, they're a boutique American made speaker. Yeah, yeah. It's Which one? The, it's the Green Beret and it's a nice. 12 inch, yeah. It's the perfect speaker for this amplifier because we're cooking at 25 watts and when you push a speaker, you kind of, it, you get the you just work it. You get its tongue hanging out, and it just has that 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 thing, and it's really great. And it's like a semi open back or something, or is it? Yeah, it well. it's it's quasi tuned where there's um, there is some open back, but it's kind of closed, so it's kind of chunky, like you would get from a, a bigger amplifier. You get some oomph, but a little air too. Absolutely. Yeah. Want to show us any different sounds from it? Yeah. Let's go ahead and clean it up. So you can definitely hear more of the 6v6 character there. Yeah, I, it, and we're also hearing our magfrag pickups on there. So every time I shifted to the different uh, EQ points uh, from the pickups, I could hear kind of the vowel sound change of the guitar, which is cool. And the 6v6s, I don't know if a lot of folks realize, but 6v6s, they were designed for car radios back in the day. So that tube is so... Yes, that tube is... Oh, wow. It, it's a rugged tube. It's one of the most sturdy tubes ever, and it was meant to be br an audio spectrum. It wasn't meant to, it's not a ham radio tube or anything like that. Yeah, it was a car radio tube, so it's supposed to sound musical. I had no idea. That's yeah. cool to know. Um, Delana, do you want to tell people where to go online to find out more about all your stuff and then maybe play us out? Absolutely. You go to thirdpower.com. This is our 10th anniversary, and you know what? I met you guys 10 years ago on the show floor when I came out with the triangle cabinets. And, and um, you know, I was like, what the hell are those? Yeah. They're so cool looking. It's kind of a, you know, th this isn't a victory lap, so to speak, but I will say after 10 years, I'm just as passionate about gear as when I arrived. And uh, I look around and I just think the product has blossomed out. There, while we don't have triangles here visible inside our 212 cab, the triangle chambers are there. So the, yeah, so the technology lived on and the passion is there. Um, and, and I'm just excited to be serving the market 10 years later. And I feel like we're just getting started and we started with you guys. That's so great. Yeah. Congrats. We're happy to have been part of it. I remember when I think you came in 
grabbed us, right, and said, hey, come check out our I did. I was uh, grabbing people by the coattails or shirts or whatever and get them out here. Um, but you'll find more about us, a little bit about our story at thirdpower.com. And first looks coming out on premierguitar.com. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and wind up the gain and uh, just have a little fun as we roll out. Let's do it. Okay. And before you head to their website, click subscribe below. Subscribe below. All right, guys, later. Oh, my God.